DPC and DTC field installation. You must follow all instructions and procedures found in the OPW installation manual for this product. All OPW automatic tank gauge systems and components must be installed in accordance with the National Electric Code, NFPA 30 and 70, and all local codes. All precautions must be taken to follow OSHA guidelines for working safely in a potentially dangerous environment. Follow the directions located in the FSC 3000 manual, which can be found on OPW's website under Products, Electronic Systems, Fuel Management Systems, and Fuel Control. Select the FSC 3000 product and click the Downloads tab. Reference pages 114 through 129 also reference the material located in the DTC product download tab. First, you need to install the jumpers on the DTC. Needle nose pliers will help when installing jumpers. Unused ports do not need jumpers. You can hook up to three terminals per port, but only one per port is preferred. The two jumpers at the top right of the board need to be moved over to the left. Next, you must install the DPC jumpers. This example is for a Wayne site. Now mount the DPC. Make measurements and install necessary conduit. Run additional conduit for the DPC. Make sure you perform all lockout and tagout procedures before working with any power wiring. The only flexible conduit allowed for indoor installations is PVC coated flexible steel. Install the power wiring for the DPC. Make sure no excess wire is sticking out of the terminals. Mount the DTC. Run conduit for the DTC. Install the power wiring for the DTC. Install the Petronet junction box for the DTC. Install the Petronet wiring for the DTC to the junction box. Connect the RS-485 cable to the Petronet junction box. This will connect to the FSC-3000. Install the current loop wiring for the DPC.
Install the terminal wiring for the DTC. Plug in the RJ45 cable from the FSC3000 to the DPC. The DPC COM cable plugs into serial port 4 on the FSC and into port C and 4 on the DPC. The DPC must be within 50 feet of the FSC3000. Plug in the Petronet cable from the junction box. The DTC must also be within 50 feet from the FSC3000. When the jumpers are installed near port CN2 on the DTC, it puts the unit in receive mode and it can accept communication from a computer. If a cable is connected, it takes the site down to allow for communication. With everything installed correctly and configured, the dispenser terminal should read, wait for download, and then operate correctly.